All right, welcome everybody. Happy Sunday morning to you. Feliz Domingo por la mañana. Welcome, bienvenidos to New Beginnings Church of the Big Bend. Amen. Amen. So praise God. Get yourselves ready to receive. Those of you that are, are listening by audio or watching by video, uh, NBC Church, get yourselves ready to receive. God has great things for us. Amen. Yeah. Los que nos estén escuchando por audio, los que nos estén viendo por video, prepárese a recibir lo que el Señor tenga para usted. Allow the word of God to bless you, encourage you, change you, and correct you. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Los que estén escuchando por video, los que estén escuchando por, por, por uh, audio, uh, 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 permita que la palabra uh, lo bendice, bendiga, los an anime, los cambie y nos correcte. Amen. Mm -hmm. Aleluya. Mire. Um, the same, let me see, I wrote something here. It says, we allow, we should allow the same word mm -hmm. that encourages, that blesses us, that encourages and changes also correct us. Yeah. And a lot of times we don't take correction so good. No. <laughs> But the same word is, he uses to bless you is the word of God. The same word he uses to encourage you and to change you is the word of God. Yeah, Amen. Yeah, yeah. So he's going to use his word yeah. to correct us as well. Amen. Yeah. So praise God. Grab your swords, soldier of God, warrior. Yeah. Grab your swords and uh, say it like a man in church. Here we go. This is my Bible. I am what it says I am. I have what it says I have. I can do what it says I can do. Today, I'll be taught the word of God. I boldly confess. My mind is alert. My spirit is receptive. And I'll never be the same in Jesus' name. Amen. This is my Bible. This is the word of God. Amen. I am what it says I am. I have what it says I say. I can do what it says I can do. Today, I'll be taught the word of God. Amen. So, this is my Bible. This is the word of God. Amen. Yes. This is what's going to bless you. This is what's going to encourage you. Yeah. This is what's going to change you and correct uh -huh. you. Amen. No longer be in uh, bondage anymore. We be released from those things. Amen. Yeah. Get up, child of God, and it's time to press on with the things yes. of God. Amen. And allow the word to do all these things to you. So we're going to continue yeah. um, with uh, God of Second Chance, part two. <laughs> Aren't you glad he's a God of Second yes. Chance? Amen. Amen. <laughs> Yes, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. So I'm going to just review a little bit of uh, last week, and then we're going to try something new here. But anyway, he's a God of second chance. Our God is a God of second chance. Whatever it takes, John 3.16 says, For God so loved the world. Yes. Amen. He gave us a second chance. He sacrificed his son and gave us a second chance. Amen. Amen. And Jesus came and said, <laughs> Thank you, Jesus, for coming. Amen. Amen. Also, he gives us uh, Job 33 and 29 says this. God gives each one of us a, a chance. Amen. Each of us. Chance after chance. Yes. Amen. <laughs> so praise God. Thank you, Lord. You've never gone too far that God cannot redeem you, restore you, forgive you, That's and right. give you a second chance. Amen. Amen. So whatever you've heard from others, you know, God's done with you. God is finished with you because you blew it. You made a mistake. God can't use you anymore. That's not what the word of God says. Right. So you need to know the word. So yeah. you say, you know what? Hey, if I get knocked down, I'm going to get back up. Uh -huh. Amen. I'm going to get back up because God's not finished with you. Right. Amen. So just know this much. Amen. God always offers us a second chance in life. Uh -huh. A second chance uh, doesn't mean uh, any, anything if you haven't learned from your first mistake. That's right. you got to get up. Life always offers a second chance and it's called mañana uh, tomorrow god yeah. gives us another chance tomorrow he says this is the day the lord has made uh -huh. and he wants us to rejoice and Lord, be glad in it yeah. amen yeah. hallelujah well you know i didn't accomplish this i didn't do this i didn't do do that whatever you know hey let the past go amen. today's a new day it's a new chance now we're going to press on with him amen, amen. so Give God your weakness and he'll give you his strength. Mm -hmm. We're all make mistakes in life. You may think it's over. You may want to throw the towel in and you may want to give up or quit, but don't. Mm -hmm. Amen. And then he tells us this in John 16, 16 33. It says, this things I have spoken unto you, that in me you will have peace. In the world you will have tribulations, yes. misfortunes, trials, mm -hmm. sufferings, pains, distresses, difficulties, and troubles. But... 
be of good cheer. Yes. I have overcome the world. Yes, you know, when the world throws all these things at you, <laughs> he says, cast your cares on me Amen. because I care for you. And then he gives us John 16, 33, so that we know, you know what? We're going to face these things, but guess what? We're above. Amen. Amen. God has made us and given us authority over these things. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. The game of life is not over. Okay? The game of life is, is, is the game of life isn't a game in which you uh, get one chance to win. That's it. That's right. As a Christian, I'm not perfect. I make mistakes. I mess up. But God's grace is bigger than my mistakes. Yeah, God's yeah. mercy is bigger than my mistakes. Yes, I'm going to make mistakes, but guess what? They may hold it against you. But if you confess your sins, repent of your sins, he says he's forgive you yes. and cleanse you of all unrighteousness. Yes. So we need to confess it and get it away and, and press on. Amen. Amen. So life is not always fair, but God is always faithful. Yes. Yes. Amen. So praise yes. God. <laughs> it's not over till he says so or That's until right. you win. Yes. Amen. God allows <laughs> you turn. <laughs> it's okay. People don't. People just condemn you right there, and it's over, you know. But guess what? God allows you time. Amen. You may be and done the worst, while well, whatever. But God says, you know what? He allows you time. As a matter of fact, I'm getting ahead of myself, but guess what? I've always brought this up. The man at the cross, the robber. He was accused. Well, he was convicted of uh, guilty of, of robbing. But... You know, when he was being crucified with Jesus, he recognized the Son of God. Mm -hmm. He recognized Jesus as the Son of God and, and, and confessed right then. And Jesus says, you know what? He says, today you get a second chance. Amen. That's Jose, okay? He says, today you get a second <laughs> chance. He says, today you'll be with me in paradise. Amen. You get a second chance. Right. And not only are you you're not going to hell, but you're going with me. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. So guess what? He's a God of a second chance, amen? Yes, amen. <laughs> Praise God. Never give up on yourself. Why? Because he never gives up on you. I'm sending you on a mission, and you know with God on you, with God with you, <laughs> you'll never uh, be defeated unless you quit, unless you allow yourself to quit and just call it quit, amen? Because he's all, he says he never leaves us nor forsakes us. He's always there. And we talked about the footprint. You know, if you ever read the footprint, <laughs> we give up on him. Say, where were you? Hey, you know, we we're walking side by side. I see the footprints here, mine and yours. And then all of a sudden, I just see one track. Where, where did you go? <laughs> you say, I didn't go anywhere. <laughs> I was carrying you. <laughs> he's always there. Amen. Yes. And he's always going to be there for us. Amen. He never changes his mind about us. People will. Mm -hmm. The world will. <laughs> But he said he never changes his mind about you. Why? Because he put those plans there. He put those gifts, those talents in there for you. Mm -hmm. So that's why we need to have relationship in, with him so we know what it is that he calls us to do. Yeah. Amen? And we visit with him, and he gives us the strength that we need to carry on with the things of God. Amen? So he never changes his mind, and we find out Romans 11, 29, you can mark that down and go visit yourself. But he says, the gifts and callings of God are without repentance. That's right. Right. Amen? So he's not going to change his mind. You might change your mind. And your friends might want to change your mind for you, but God doesn't change his mind. Right. You know what he says? He says, what are you still doing on the ground? Get up, dust yourself off, and press on. Amen? Amen? Right. Don't right. be here. And we, well, <clears throat> one of our examples uh, we're going to talk about was Jonah. Jonah just blew it and he went the wrong way. <laughs> God had already prepared a great fish to swallow him. <laughs> and it took him three days and three nights in the belly of the whale <laughs> for him to realize, okay, I'll do what you call me to do. Yeah. <laughs> and so God had the fish spit him out in the shores of uh, Nineveh and he delivered a message God had given him. And those people repented of their sins. Mm -hmm. Yeah, They repented of their sins. Yes. So praise God. God always yes. offers a second chance. Amen. This is what I wrote. Amen. And it is called tomorrow mm -hmm. or mañana. And he's given us in Psalms 118.24 says, today is the day. Yes. Amen. Today is 
He's given us this day. He said, this is the day the Lord has given us. Uh -huh. Rejoice and be glad in it. Yes. And you know, this day may be sunshine outside. This day may be raining outside, snowing outside. The weather may be bad, but guess what? He still says, rejoice and be glad yes, in it. Does. You got to have that attitude in you. Amen. And say, hey, you know what? I have the joy of God. I have the strength of God. I am going to rejoice and be glad in it. Because the greater one is in me. And you going out with this attitude on, I don't have an attitude cut from but we're going out with a God attitude, with love, compassion of God to minister to people. Amen? Amen. People are going to see that. We are to rejoice and be glad in it, yet some people's lives remain the same, still stuck in the past. Mm -hmm. Ain't nothing changing in their lives. Their attitude, their lifestyles are unchanged. Still going through the same thing, same sins, same habits, same bad company. That's right. Expecting different results. Mm -hmm. That's insane. They fail to realize that there's a new life in Christ. Man can change the outward appearance, get a makeover, mm -hmm. but God can change the old to new. Right. Amen. He says in uh, St. Corinthians 5 17, he says, Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he's a new creation. Old things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. So God can wipe away the old and bring the new. Amen. Amen. So praise Amen. God, if we confess our sins, he is to forgive us of our sins and cleanse us of all unrighteousness. He alone can give you a new start, a new beginning in life. Only Jesus can make all things new and change both the outward and the inward. That's right. Amen. Yeah. So people will see the same person, but inside I am born again. Amen. Inside I had a spiritual birth. Amen. <laughs> and I am going to change. Things are going to change. Amen. He alone can give you that second chance. Woo, hallelujah. Amen. Your future is not determined by your past. That's right. Your future is not determined by what you used to do. Your uh -huh. future is not determined by what uh, you used to be, but your future is determined by Jesus. Amen. Your future is determined by the great plans he has already planned for you. He's given you some great plans, and none of them include defeat. Amen. Amen. Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Yes. And he says, he doesn't change. Mm -hmm. Amen. He doesn't change. There's no secret God can do. Right. Praise God. What he's done for others, he'll do for you. He'll do for you. Amen. What he's done for others, he'll do for you. Well, you know, he done all these things for all these Bible heroes, but he won't do it for me. Oh, yes. Well, you got to get off of that yes. because he'll do it for you as well. Yes. Amen. Yes. You're a child of God. You got to get off of that sin mentality and, and get yes. into the right mentality and get yes. into the Christ mentality. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. Right. Praise God. <laughs> Another example was this. In, in uh, John chapter 8, verses 1 through 11, he talks about the lady caught in the uh, adultery. Mm -hmm. It says the crowd wanted to condemn this woman. As a matter of fact, the scribes and the Pharisees uh -huh. who accused her had already pronounced sentence oh, yeah. of death to her. Mm -hmm. Right. But God. <laughs> yes. In the natural, her situation was hopeless. Mm -hmm. But God, with God, this woman got a second chance. Yes. Did Jesus give this woman another chance so she can go out and uh, repeat the, her mistake no, and no, sin again? No. no, he told her, go and sin no more. Sin no more. Amen. John 1.17 says, for the law was given through Moses. Yes. It says, but grace and truth came through Jesus Christ. Amen. And here is his, here is his example. Mm -hmm. He says, neither do I condemn you. Mm -hmm. He said, where's your accusers? He says, they're all gone. None of them accuse you. He says, well, neither do I accuse right. you. So here's his example. Grace and mercy is greater than the sin. Amen. Amen. He says, go and sin no more. That's right. And he tells us, I'm glad to know that when I fall short, God tells me, go and sin no more. Amen. 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 Whatever you've done, you know, all you have to do is get before him and confess your sin, repent. Mm -hmm. And he says, I forgive you of all your sins and cleanse you of all unrighteousness. Yes. You may be listening and viewing. You may be facing hopeless situations. Mm -hmm. But Jesus looks down and says, go and sin no more. Yes. Amen. That's why you need to have this relationship and know what the word of God says. Yes. So nobody can keep you in bondage. That's right. Because God uses people, but so does Satan. Mm -hmm. 
right. and Satan uses people to come and tell you that you're a hopeless case. Mm -hmm. God can't help you anymore. Mm -hmm. You've sinned, and that's the worst thing you can do, so God can't help you anymore. Mm -hmm. Maybe there's somebody here who is discouraged because they failed in some areas. Maybe you're confused and you've been running in the wrong direction. Mm -hmm. Well, guess what? He allows you turns. Yes, <laughs> thank you, Lord. He allows you turns. It's Praise okay. God. Come. He told that robber at the cross, you know, I'm giving you a second chance. He made a new turn. You know, he still, they still crucified him. They still killed him for what he, the crime he committed. But Jesus says, you get a second chance and you don't have to stay here. You can go with me to heaven. Amen. 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 <laughs> Praise, Praise God. God. Amen. Don't be afraid to let go to uh, God and confess your mistakes. That's right. God wants to put you back in the game. Yes, people want to hold you down. Uh -huh. Jealous people want to hold oh, you down. Yeah. The world wants to hold you down. But God says, you know what? <laughs> Confess it. Give it to me. Yes. And get back in the game. Yes. I yes. sent you on this mission. I called you. Yes. I equipped you. I know what's in you. Uh -huh. I know what you can do. Yes. But people are trying to hold you back. Yes. Things are trying to distract you. Okay? So now get back in the game. Yeah. Confess it, get it off of you, and go. You know what? <laughs> um, I've told you this before, but all the Bible heroes God ever used, <laughs> they were not perfect. That's right. They have sinned in their life. Uh -huh. <laughs> so do we. <laughs> but he still wants to use us. That's so right. just confess it, get it out of you, mm -hmm. and give it back to him. The game isn't yeah. over yet. If you will still faith, if you will stay faithful to God and His Word, the game isn't over until you win. That's right. Maybe you've completely turned your back on God, mm. and I told him backslidden, mm. living without peace of God and the joy of salvation oh you once knew. You might be out of fellowship with God. Uh -huh. God has not turned His back on you. That's God right. is loving, merciful, and compassionate, yes, and He still is. cares about you. Yes. Amen. This is the God that sacrificed his son. Right. This is the Jesus that went to the cross for us, so we don't have to go through that. Amen. <laughs> Even if you messed up, God still has a plan for your life. Mm -hmm. And he has a second chance for you. Amen. All he wants you to do is to get up, confess it, mm -hmm. and get up and press on. Yes. That's what he calls us. Just press on. The goal I gave you, the mission I gave you is still waiting. Yes. The worst thing is for you to stay down mm -hmm. or have people hold you down or the world hold you down and you do nothing about it. Mm -hmm. You have a bigger God. Yes. <laughs> a bigger, he is bigger. One is bigger yes. than you. Amen. Amen. He has a second chance for you. The Bible talks about many men and women <clears throat> who messed up, but with God, they got a second chance. Yes, they did. And I'm just going to give you some quick examples. Uh, Elijah <laughs> mm. said he hadn't reigned for three and a half years. Three and a half years. Yep. Mm. Amen. And Elijah was a mighty man of God. He destroyed the prophets of Baal. Mm. As a matter of fact, the Bible says 400, 450 men. Yes. And they try to have their God, you know, bring down rain. It's been three and a half years, <laughs> no rain. <laughs> Elijah says, okay, you've done what you want to do. Now, there's a sacrifice. He said, get back. They dug the trench around the, oh. the, the thing, the, the, the sacrifice. Yeah. They poured water on it. Elijah called him his God, and boom. Fire. It was gone. Yep. His God came through. It says, God, through Elijah, the people, rep well, excuse me, by God's demonstration of power yes. through Elijah, the uh -huh. people repented. Their hearts were turned back to God. Amen. And you know what? He wants to use you to do the same thing. Amen. He's no respecter of persons. Right. He'll use you just like he used Elijah right here. Amen. <laughs> I like this part. It says, empowered by the Spirit of God, Elijah outran King Ahab's chariot, chariot. on yeah. foot yeah. all the way back to Jezreel. <laughs> That's a pretty good guy. Eh? Yeah. Can feel that. <laughs> he's, he's pretty good. When the Holy Spirit is on you, man, you Greater she is in you than he is in the world. Amen. Oh, yes. And guess what? Yes. When he arrived in Jezreel, he found out 
when uh, Jezebel wants to kill him. Oh, yeah. So yeah. instead of uh, turning to God and asking for help, he ran to the wilderness in fear. And he sat under the juniper tree. <laughs> Hallelujah. Says Elijah had gotten out of faith and went into fear. Yeah. And we talk about this all the time. You know what? If you have fears in you, God is not giving you a spirit of fear, but a power loving of a sound mind. You get the word in you and build your faith up. When you yes. feel it, when you get your word in you and your faith is built up, guess what? Those fears have to go. Yes. They can't stay. That's right. So guess what? Elijah went into depression and self-pity. I know we've never been there. <laughs> So he's telling God, you know what? I used to do great things for you. But now he says, they seek to take my life. Yeah. God said, Elijah, yeah. go on to the way of the wilderness of Damascus. Mm -hmm. In other words, the Lord told Elijah, the game isn't over yet. Get up yeah. and yeah. finish what I called you That's to do. Right. Amen. Get up and finish what I called you to do. Uh, Amen. So. That's what God is saying to some of us right now. Get up. Yeah. Forget the past. Yes. Forget the mistakes. Forget yes. the shortcomings. Amen. Forget the failures. And do what I've called you to do. Amen. You know, if you've got this attitude about, well, God calls everybody to do something except me, mm -hmm. you need to get off of that. Yeah. Yeah. You're oh, here yeah. because he put you here. That's it. Amen. So now we got to get our plans. We got to get ourselves right. If uh -huh. you've never accepted Jesus, now is the time. Just say, yes. Lord Jesus, Amen. I confess my sins. I repent of my sins. I receive you as my Lord and Savior. So guess what? Now you're on a mission for him. Yes. Amen. Get in a Bible church where you can uh, uh, start read, uh, learning the word, growing in the word, maturing in the word, and start going for God. Yes. Amen. Amen. Start doing for him because yes. he's no respect to a person. Yes. Big or small, right. whatever you do for him. Do it unto him. Yes. The Bible says that you can do all things all through things. Christ who strengthens yeah. you. Praise God. Amen. <laughs> Praise God. <laughs> Praise God. <Lord. laughs> you didn't, <laughs> you didn't do it the first time I told you, but now I'm giving you a second chance. You fell short the first time, but now I'm giving you a second chance. It says you let somebody stop you the first time, but now I'm giving you a second chance. Amen. Praise God, just like Jonah. <laughs> says, go to Nineveh. You know, I'm so glad he didn't just say, man, he could just wipe us out if he wanted to. <laughs> Jonah says, okay, I'll go. <laughs> as long as you are sitting on the sidelines of life, in this game of life, asking God, why did this happen to me? Oh, yeah. Yeah. You will be sorry, defeated. Oh, yeah. But God oh, wants to help us. Oh, says, get up, yes. shake yourself off the dust of doubts on your feet. Amen. Yes. Get Thank back you. to your feet. Then God, then God can come to your rescue and bring yes. you to Amen. victory. Amen. With God, Amen. you can do yes. all things. Amen. With God, you get a second chance. Amen. Amen. Yes. Amen. So we Praise told God. you you, can, you don't get a second chance. Yes. Ask, ask them to show you a scripture yes. where it says that. Mm -hmm. Amen. If it's not scriptural, if it's not in the word of God, mm -hmm. you just take that and put it on a shelf or yes. take press the yes. Amen. Amen. <laughs> With God, you get a second chance. With yes. God, you win. You know, when you accepted Christ, when you accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior, now you're on God's winning team. Yes. So, praise God. This is awesome. Yes, it is. Amen. Amen. I'm almost there. Praise God. Peter denied God or denied Jesus three times. Yes. Amen. Peter denied three times that he knew Jesus. Right. Amen. Yeah. Yet, I'm not going to go too deep into this, but he says, 56 days later, it was Peter whom God used to uh -huh. preach salvation messages that brought 3,000, 5,000 people to uh -huh. the kingdom of God. Right. Why? Because with God, Peter got a second chance. Yes. I want to let you know this morning that the same God that restored yes. Peter can give you a second chance. Yes. He's the same yes. God today that wants to restore you yes. and give you a second chance. Yes. Amen. Amen. So, quit this pity party stuff. Oh, come on, Quit people Woo. telling you that you cannot. That's right. And get up because he wants to give you a second chance. Yes. 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 
<laughs> he put you here to be defeated. That's he put right. you here to complete your mission Amen. and to win. Amen. Amen. So praise God. He's still saying to you today, <laughs> I have, you haven't done This is what he's telling you. He says, you don't have to be defeated. You don't have to be hopeless. You don't have to be discouraged. I will deliver you out of every trouble and get you back in the game. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. He says, you can't hit a home run if you don't stay in the game. Step up and step out in faith. Uh -huh. Amen. He told Peter, step out of the boat. He says, yeah. come, come. Amen. He's telling you the same thing. Come. When you're with God, uh -huh. you win. Amen. Yeah. You cannot run a touchdown unless you press towards the goal or the mark. Amen. Amen. You cannot win. You can't win the race That's unless right. you cross the finish line. <coughs> and I want to cross my finish line. And I want to hear him say, Well done, good and faithful yes. servant. Right. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Woo, praise God. Amen. I want to let you know this morning that yeah. if God is for you, who can be against who you? Be against Amen. Uh, Psalms 34 and 19 says this, many are the afflictions of the righteous, uh -huh. but the Lord delivered him out of them all. Oh, the yeah. English, the common English Bible says the righteous have many problems, uh -huh. but the Lord delivers them from every <laughs> one of them. Yes. You know, there's nothing new. They come out with something new all the time, and God didn't forget this. Right. He That's delivered right. you from every one uh -huh. of these. Amen. Yeah. So, just listen to his word. Yeah. Pay attention to his word. First Peter 5, 7, we're all familiar with. Uh -huh. says, give all your anxieties, all your worries, all your problems, all your cares to him. Amen. Because he cares about you. Yes, he he put you on this mission to complete. Yes. He put you on this mission and all these things, distractions and cares, mm -hmm. and ways to try to jump on you. Mm -hmm. On a daily basis, says, Lord, I cast these things on you because yes. you care for me. Yes. I want to yes. run my race without all these things hanging on me. Yes. Amen. And I'm going to complete my race. And I'm going to complete what you yeah. called me to do. Amen. In closing. Amen. Lower. The game isn't over until God says it's That's over. Right. That's right. And with God, we get a second chance. Uh -huh. I'm glad that my, <laughs> my hope is not built on family, friends, jobs, careers, right. money banks, or money or bank accounts, <laughs> or worldly possessions. Yeah. My hope is built on Jesus, yes. his blood, his love, his compassion, and his mercy. Amen. His righteousness. Yes. I don't know about you, but I need a Savior that will go with me to the end. Amen. Yes. And he gives me a second chance. Yes. A second yes. chance, a makeover that I need. Amen. What area of your life do you need a makeover? Oh, my God. Ask God to forgive you. Yes. And to give you the second chance. Determine this time around. Yes. You're going to complete what he's called you to do. Right. Yeah. And this time, you're going to do it right. Yes. Amen. Whew. Praise God. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, man. Hallelujah. That blessed me. I don't know about you, but that yes. blessed me. Remember 1 John 1 9. Yes. If we confess our sins, he says he is faithful, faithful and just to forgive us of our sins yes. and to cleanse us from all, all unrighteousness. So, whatever you've done, confess it, give it to him. Amen. And it's time for you to just cleanse yourself, renew your mind with the word of God on a daily basis, yes. and press on. Yes. And be the child of God, be the warrior, be the, the person he's called you to be. Yes. Amen. Amen. You're a child of God. You're a child of the King of Kings and Lord yes. of Lords. Amen. Amen. And with him, yes. he says, you can do all things through Christ all who strengthens you. Yes. This on a daily basis. You know what? If you, <laughs> if you get up and you feel like you can't, then it's time to get in the Word, mm -hmm. feed your spirit, the Word of God, renew your mind with the Word of God, and quit thinking that way. Yeah. Get all the flesh, just uh -huh. crucify the flesh, uh -huh. <laughs> and get in and be the mighty warrior He's called you to be. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. And God. press on and press on, uh, on with your mission. Amen. He's not finished with you. If He haven't called you home, there's still things for you to do. Yes. Yeah. Amen. Amen. So, praise God. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. And praise God. Amen. Amen.